The city of Spokane is expected to spend around $100 million on construction projects this year. Krem 2 Shannon Mowdy reports on where we could see more construction projects this spring. Probably not what people want to hear, but road work will return to the Thor Freya area, specifically this area that the city says this time around it'll be less of a headache. With warmer temperatures comes another season Spokane's preparing for construction season. This year, the city will invest in some new and old projects. So everything together is in the hundred million dollar range um, for the season. So that includes some of the stuff that was already started. And that means the return of road work, including two busy streets that were backed up last year. Um, you'll see things like the Post Street Bridge get finished um, probably late in the year. You'll see a continuation of some work on the Thor Freya corridor. We're going to do those intersections with Thor and Freya at 2nd and 3rd. The intersections with 2nd and 3rd are set for a full road reconstruction with curb, water and sewer replacements and ADA ramp upgrades. That's expected to cost around one and a half million dollars. It's going to be a much smaller impact than previous. Um, we'll be able to maintain um, at least one lane of traffic on each of the roads. Many of the city's anticipated projects revolve around pedestrian safety, including adding hybrid crossing beacons like these at more spots citywide. That includes several spots along Division, Green and Carlisle, and the Nevada Joseph intersection. We look you know, throughout the city to determine where we need to make improvements to um, allow pedestrians to move more freely through our community, particularly around places like schools or hospitals or places that where pedestrians might collect, if you will, like a grocery store. More sidewalks are also coming. Walkways will be installed near Bemis Elementary, Driscoll, Alberta, Cochrane, and on the west side of Haven Street. I did speak with a coffee shop in this area and they tell me that that project last year did really slow things down for them, but the city tells me they've already started connecting with businesses in the Thor Freya area, just warning them about what's to come. In Spokane, Shannon Mowdy, Prem 2 News.